but it's called Midlife Crisis. I see a gray hair in the mirror, ashes among the timbers. How I long to be a child again, to run wild and free, to play in the grass, to face the world fearless and innocent. But only the gods are immortal. Half a century passed and I still am not sure who I am. A poet and a carpenter, building castles in the air, painting dreams in metaphors, hoping to find a way to live fully until I cannot live anymore. This one is the poem I wrote for my nephew. This is his picture. Um, he passed away shortly after his 30th birthday. And this poem is called For Jason, a Requiem. I loved you. How did you get so far away? Now time has taken you forever, forever and a day. I can only hope that what I believe is true, that one day again I'll see you. One day I will see you again. Until then, beloved friend, child of my sister, father, son to someone, I believe that in time to come, in green fields, we will sit down together and we'll dine and we'll drink the holy wine and God will smile upon us. Yeah, God will smile upon us all. Until then, sleep, peace, remember. This poem is called Why Me? And there's a story behind it. I actually wrote this for Montel Williams. And what happened was, is that I was going through a kind of an emotion, emotional crisis. At the same time, he first found out that he had MS. And in order to deal with my emotional crisis, I was posting, I was writing poems and I was posting on, them on poetry.com. Well, he had uh, made a contest where if you entered uh, one poem, he would donate a dollar a poem to his uh, MS Foundation. And this is called Why Me. There was a time when I knew joy, and joy knew me as well. And my light shone from inside out, and everywhere it fell. Then came the darkness with the pain. The clouds of disappointment grew, along with fear, anger, hate, and jealousy of those I knew that wouldn't have to suffer much. It is a bitter pill I take, knowing that life may pass me by. I looked to the heavens and I cried out, Why me? Why now? Why? God, in his loving, gentle voice, said, Child, you know that life is a gift. I gave with wisdom and my love, and I gave you this so you would learn to live. That was a great inspiration to me, too. And uh, this poem is called, I Want to Love Again. It's been so long since you tore out my heart that I've been bleeding for years. I walked around with a big hole in my chest filled only with pain. Then I went numb. I was a walking corpse content to be alone, tired, waiting to die. But a strange thing happened this morning. I woke up and realized that I miss my passion. I want to be in love again. I want to hear the birds sing, to feel the soft grass and crisp air, to smell the flowers. I want to be alive again. I want to risk the pain of losing myself in order to gain a better half, one that can live with full conviction. I want to pull my soul partner out of the shadows and into my life. I want to live until the final curtain is drawn and there is nothing left to give. I want to love again, this time forever. <laughs> 